today we have two projects, a Lazy Susan made of some Australian hardwoods and a stove caddy to uh, make some more space in the kitchen. So first I've got to clean up the mess I made from my first ever project, uh, which was the uh, cutting board. You would have seen that video on uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, then start gathering all the pieces that I need to make uh, these two gifts for my wife. So I get the timber that I need, lay it out carefully and start marking out the measurements that I require. I'm making this Lazy Susan in the same sort of process that I made the most recent cutting board and uh, one lesson learned here uh, is that I didn't thickness uh, plane or joint any of the edges here so um, that would have been a much better thing to do would have given me a much nicer finish and again I use that same marine foaming glue so nothing's going to break that bond And while food will go on the Lazy Susan, it's not really for food prep. There we go. So that's glued, dried, solid. Now it just needs to be planed down using the router jig again. So I can have that all one flat surface. Now the stove caddy, this will sit on top of the stove, when it's not on of course, uh, and will allow um, for a little bit more bench space in the kitchen. I've seen many different names for these things, but I've just called it a stove caddy, and it's pretty basic. Now. I turn my attention to making a circle cutting jig on the bandsaw for the Lazy Susan. I'm running my first test piece with a bit of core flute, which was successful. Now going back to the router jig to thickness down the stove caddy. and the Lazy Susan. All going well so far. Just clamping some sides. As you can see, pretty basic. Now, my router jig uh, needed a new uh, top slide. The gap was too big and my router was uh, falling in and making gouges. So, stop the project to make my router jig a little bit tidier. Gee, look at that fancy angle. I'm getting ambitious now, aren't I? And you can see I just used a piece of metal on mine from an old kitchen cupboard. Oh, look at that, another angle. It's like watching a footy. Thump. Great. Now back to work. Back to the router jig. Put my little wheels on. Put my edges on. And start thicknessing again. Smaller hole, but I can still see what I'm doing. Like I said in my last video, this thing makes a ton of mess. Which is fine, but I had no Breathing protection. 
which was a ridiculous mistake to make, but you don't really learn until you make a mistake. Just routing through so much material. So that is what uh, will be the Lazy Susan. Looks pretty good. Back to the bandsaw circle cutting jig that I've made. I won't tell you how I've made this. I got the process off YouTube. Um, there's plenty of people who have uh, perfected it. Uh, if you just search bandsaw circle cutting jig Or you'll get a rough idea from what I've done here as to uh, what process I've followed in order to get that circle. Come on, let's speed it up a bit. Clamp in the way. Look a mistake. Come on. There we go. That tiny little bandsaw from Aldi did a good job. And there we go. Circle. So give it a give it a quick sand. And round over the edges with my router. And there we go. Starting to look pretty good. Now for the bottom, I cheated. I couldn't find a mechanism. And I wanted to build this thing quickly. So I stole one off our IKEA. Lazy Susan. Ta-da! Easy. Thanks IKEA. It spins! Yeah, the fun part. Bit of oil. Let's see the grain pop. There we go. Now, yes I'm biased, but I think that looks pretty good. Very happy with it. And thankfully so is the wife. And then the stove caddy. As you can see, really basic construction. Very, very basic. But if you're short of space in the kitchen, it's a fantastic idea. Because it doesn't weigh much. And when you are using the stove, it can easily be put out of the way. Um, but it can make all the difference in the world when you just need to put down that extra uh, one or two things. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my social channels.